All right, what about skylocks or things that are sticking off of the building um, or a sign that pops off, like a movie sign or a parking sign? Um, we're gonna look at making those right now. Um, and again, all lines are vertical or two vanishing points still. All right, we haven't cheated. What if I wanted to connect these two buildings over the alleyway so you can walk in between them? Here's my first recommendation. Make sure right now that you are above the horizon line. You could draw a walkway right over the horizon line, but if it's on the horizon line or touching it, you won't see the top and you won't see the bottom. So try to draw it high so we can see the bottom of it for right now and then later challenge yourself to draw one on the horizon line. But for right now to follow along, try to draw one higher than the horizon line. Give yourself some room. So I'm gonna start with a vertical line, pretending that I'm gonna be drawing a window first, like pretend this is a window. But for a window, we would connect the top and bottom to VP2 and we'd be done. But if we want something to stick off of the building and look like it's coming off of it, um, we are gonna go to the opposite vanishing point. I'm gonna just show you what that looks like for a little ways. If I just go a little ways, it kind of looks like the arms right now, these poles are sticking off of VP1 or off of the, uh, the building right there. If I connect them to the next building, keeping in line to vanishing point one, now we have what looks like the side of a walkway. Um, we would erase these lines in here unless it's transparent. Um, but again, we're looking up, up like we're a worm above the horizon line, so we would see the bottom of the skywalk. So you see that dot there. Now I'm gonna take it and line it up to VP2. I could go all the way over, but I'm gonna just go a little line over like that, make another dot, and then go back to VP1. And now we have a floor of this skywalk. And I can fill this in if that helps you see it a little bit better. Here's the floor of the skywalk. I'd erase these, but maybe I could make a window on this skywalk by having a line to vanishing point one, vertical, line to vanishing point one again, connect it with a vertical line. And now I have a window in my skywalk that you can see through. Uh, the same is true if you have a building that you want a sign sticking off of it. So let's say instead of a window on this side, I want a sign that sticks off, a pretty tall one right now. And now I am gonna go over the horizon line. Top and bottom of this, again, if it was gonna be a big window, I'd connect to VP1, but because I want it to stick off of the, of the window, of the building, I'm gonna line it up to VP2. And when I line it up to the opposite vanishing point, look at what it does. It kinda of goes up in the air like this and up to the vanishing point down here. Then if I connect those two arms with a vertical line, make sure your ruler is vertical, um, I have the side of a um, sign. Again, just like we did this one, if I take the closest points, Line it up to vanishing point one. And another vertical line down. Now we have an edge to it. Maybe I'll fill that edge in to make it a little more three-dimensional. That's the edge of the sign. Now, because the sign is going over the horizon line, it's not above it and it's not below it, we don't have to show the bottom of it or the top of it. Um, and then on this sign, we can, using a vertical line, write something like parking. I'm gonna run out of room, because I didn't plan this out. Um, you can write parking and then have little arrows that go in. This sign could have, you know, little light bulbs around it that you can fill in later to make it sparkle. Um, and so on. And, and that would be your sign that sticks off the building. Anytime you want something that sticks off the building, again, go to the opposite vanishing point. So if I would want some sort of balcony sticking off of this window, you see those two dots there? If I go to the opposite vanishing point, instead of VP2, like the top and bottom of that window, I go to VP1, now I have little arms sticking off, and that's the bottom of a balcony. And because it's above the horizon line, I can see the bottom of it. Now I go to VP2, here's a dot, Here's that. If I go vertical up from there, there's a balcony. To enhance it, I'm gonna show you VP1, VP2. 
This is the bottom of the balcony that's sticking off the window that people can walk out on. And if I wanted to give them a fence so that they don't fall off, I can make a bunch of vertical lines. Again, nothing I've done is not vertical or to a vanishing point. All of these lines are vertical or to a vanishing point. I don't have a crooked ruler. Um, I'm not making ramps or angle lines. This is all vertical or to a vanishing point. Same thing if I wanted a awning. That's the thing that bad guys jump off of in movies and fall right through. The good guys bounce off, of course, and are safe. The awning is above the door so people don't get wet. Um, I'm going to the opposite vanishing point here from those two dots, connecting them. If it doesn't go to a vanishing point, look at my ruler's not going to VP2. Make sure you line it up to the vanishing point and then adjust your other line to connect it to keep it um, correct and accurate. So this is a pretty big awning. It's coming out right now pretty far and I can draw the lines for the poles that stick off into the sidewalk, some vertical lines here. So now I have this flat topped awning. If I wanna make it curved, I could put a dot up there in between the door, have an arm coming out of that dot, line it up to VP1, cause the top of my building goes to VP2. So I want it sticking off, I'm gonna go to VP1 kind of have an arm coming out like that. And now I can make a curve that connects these dots to make kind of a curved awning like that. And you could fill it in if you wanted with some stripes um, or color it so that you have a colorful awning. Um, maybe if I add some color right now, I could do blue in the front like this, and of course, I can do some blue and yellow stripes here, Get yellow out, just so you can kind of see this awning a little bit better. Um, I could even do some bumps here for a little fringe. Those are okay to freehand. I could color in all my light bulbs over here if I wanted you to. Um, but you, that way you can kind of see the awning a little bit better. It's sticking off of the building. Um, again, all my lines are vertical or to a vanishing point. Right now the only thing I did was curve this line and draw a little bit of details. So that's how you make things pop off of the building.